You're three and two in the flyweight division. Four and two really, really starts to, I think, once again have eyeballs focused on you. You got Cejudo's making some noise. Benavidez has won four straight since his last loss to uh, to uh, DJ. So that's your opponent on Saturday night. Uh, he wants to make a, a, a claim for a third possible shot. At four and two, things would look really good for you. At three and three, you're back to being a 500 fighter. Uh, do you think about that much, and how pivotal of a fight is this for you? Um, I try not to worry too much about the record. I am worried about beating Benavidez, who is one of the best guys in the division, and one of, one of the guys that's been at the very top of the of 135 and 125 for like eight years now. You know, so right. um, uh, that's the the opportunity is with that. The opportunity is for potential. Uh, heading to the title shot isn't from a 4-2 and two record in the UFC. It's from beating the number one guy, Joseph Benavides. So mm -hmm. that's, that's Will what Will you make your about. claim on Saturday night if you get past Benavides that you should get the next shot? Yeah, definitely. And how would you, uh, how would you promote that? For example, w would you feel Cejudo's the other guy in the running? Yeah. Yeah, I think Cejudo's probably going to get the next shot, I would think. Um, but if I beat Benavides and uh, – like I say, I had a, I lost my last one to Dotson, a close decision. One I personally feel like I won, and a lot of people right. thought it was. I was going to say that too. It was close, but uh, I mean, if I beat the the uh, quote beat the two top guys in the division, I mean, of course, I think I, I'm right there. So, and I don't know. I don't feel like I need to like build towards towards fighting tougher guys and fighting the elite guys in the division. You know, I've been fighting professionally almost ten years, and have a good deal of experience and uh, getting older, so I'm trying to fight these these top guys while while I'm here. So what has it meant? Because you are a two-time champion, Bellator, uh, bantamweight champ, RFA flyweight champ. So those are respected organizations. Now you're in the UFC, but what has it meant when you've been to the top and when you have worn gold? Is is it something different? Because you kind of seem like a guy that's very casual about the sport and maybe not gold oriented. Where am I wrong? Uh, no, that's of course the the goal is to be the best in the world, you know. And um, uh, yeah, I won uh, two titles, Bellator and RFA. Uh, but when you think about world champion, I, you know, I was a champion. I would never call myself the world champion, you know, until I win like the UFC belt. The UFC is clearly the gold standard in MMA, and uh, that's who the world champion is, in my opinion. So.